Natural England's Purple Horizons project is about making more green space and making it even better. And that is going to benefit the half a million people that live nearby. Now we know that there is more demand for nature in green space than there is supply, but we can do something about that. And it matters because we know that nature is essential to help us combat climate change. And we also know that being out in places like this with the wind in your face makes you feel great and is good for your well-being. The group today is the Water Conservation Volunteers. We started doing this once every month or so on a Saturdays because we thought that would be the one way we'd get the most interest. It, it's stunningly heartening because this work would not be possible without the public. So it's a chance to meet new people. And actually, it's, it's, it keeps you fit. It just, feels, it just feels right, you know. You're around grey brick buildings all the time. It just, yeah, it doesn't give you the same feeling as being out here. You're not going to get so many birds in your garden, so many hedgehogs, if you don't have so many natural areas for them to go into and areas for them to breed into. You have found a big stick. Well, apart from the children absolutely loving being outside, they get to learn how to look after their environment and look after each other. The Purple Horizon project is going to link together a varied mosaic of habitats across a large area north of Black Country up to Cannock Chase and down to Sutton Coalfield and give better access and more robust landscape capability than we've ever done before. The rock types have a profound impact on the shape of the land, the type of soil, the special plants and animals that like it in different places where it's either wet or dry. And it's very important in areas like central England that it is one of the rarest biological habitats. A really key thing for, for bees and wasps in particular uh, is bare earth. Uh, uh, the vast majority of species in the UK, um, in the bees and wasps, uh, tend to nest underground, they're subterranean um, insects, and so the more bare earth you have, the more nesting space you provide. A lot of these sort of brownfield industrial sites um, that have sort of been abandoned and nature has now taken over, they provide this sort of varied topography of the landscape and, uh, you know, this, this huge variety of microhabitats. Heathland is good for lots of quite protected and priority species. So ground nesting birds like the nightjar as well, they like heathland, invertebrates, quite rare invertebrates and reptiles. We were the first council in the country to make it policy and demand that all development must deliver a 20% net gain to biodiversity as part of seeking planning permission, measuring their impact in a clear repeatable manner. And if they couldn't deliver that net gain on site, they would either create or enhance areas of habitat elsewhere in the district or provide the council a suitable financial contribution for us to deliver that habitat on their behalf. We are facing three big challenges, that of climate change, loss of wildlife and our own health and well-being. By increasing the supply of nature and the quality of it in this area of Walsall and Litchfield, we make a big difference to those three challenges. The Purple Horizons project is going to bring people and businesses from a wide range of interests together because we all have a vested interest in improving the quality of green space and nature in the West Midlands.